Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, crucio salam, welcome to the channel y'all, chesh, yakshi, mash, good day and shalom. So we're back today and we're going to be doing something which is a review of my Dyson V10 Animal. I've now had it for 18 months and it's still working absolutely fine. So I want to give a bit of a clean up because I've literally been using it as an end user. Let me get you closer and I will explain. So here we have my Dyson V10 Animal that I've had for 18 months. It came with this brush, as you can see, I need to clean that out. Um, the container, the wand, and the main floor head. So, like I said, I've been using this as an end user. So I have just been using it. We use it every day. Um, it gets used for indoor rugs and the hard floors when you want a quick whip around or a spill or something. So I haven't done anything to it in the 18 months apart from once it asked for a filter clean. The filter sign came up. So I checked the filter and I dusted it off. I've also got that I put in there. It doesn't cause any issues whatsoever. It's a little air freshener. What I just do is I put the air freshener disc at the back, put it on, and lock it on. It doesn't cause any issues whatsoever because it's at the top. And it really does make the room smell so much nicer. So I haven't washed this filter at all. Um, when the filter indication came up on the base, um, I just used a another vacuum to vacuum it off. But it doesn't look particularly dirty, but it is it is a little bit dusty. You will get dust on it, so that's not a problem anyway. When it comes to the trigger, which is my bane of my life, I've got this little piece of Velcro that I attach to it. So if I'm doing dusting and I need to hold the trigger on, then I will use the piece of Velcro and then that then will hold the button on for me. So I can put this on my shoulder or wherever and then I can do some dusting because you sometimes you really do need two hands free if you're doing dusting to pick up stuff. And it is really good for dusting. That's what I find. I put it on the lower setting and it is really good for dusting. Especially with the, the uh, tools and attachments that it comes with. The wand, a <coughs> couple of marks on it, a couple of scratches, nothing major. It's survived very, very well. Uh, if I plug it in. Now, I do have a slight issue with a little bit of wobble or play, but it's never caused me any issues. Um, but it does have a little slight wobble but like I said no problem with that whatsoever it is a bit dusty because like I said I've never washed cleaned it right okay the floor head this is the floor head that I use the most it's the one that's always plugged in next to it we have this one which is the hard floor sort of like um, roller dusting brush really good it's still in very good condition like I said I, I do use it but I wouldn't say that I use it all the time because sometimes I need to do the um, rugs as well as the hard floors. So um, I don't use this as much as I do the other one, but I, I do use it. Um, and it, again, it's a bit dusty and grimy. This is really good. A lot of people don't like this. I really do. I think it's brilliant. Really, really good. This, the little tur powered turbo brush. I use this as well quite a lot. Brilliant for doing the stairs. That's mainly what I use it for, to be honest. Or, if I can't be asked, what I will do is just, um, you know, use the floor head. So I can, I'll just use the floor head on the machine, like so, and then use that to do the stairs. I don't really have much issue with it regarding its weight or its size or issues at all. It is chunky and bulky, but it, it doesn't cause me any problems. One thing I do do every single time when I go to empty the bin, I will always, and this is always, both of us, will, oops, will twist the filter so you can't actually accidentally turn it on when you come to empty it. And that's basically all I do is make sure that that shroud is clean. 
twist the filter back on and we're ready to go. That, I do that all the time. Let me clean up this mess. Right, so let's concentrate on one thing at a time. Let's take a look inside this fluffy head. So to remove it, I believe, there. I've never done this to it before. I've never taken it apart to clean it. So how do you... Ah, right, okay, so there we go, that's how it's done. There's the motor. So this isn't really dirty at all, to be honest. A little bit of dust on it, so I will give it a quick vacuum over. Right, okay, that comes out as well, I didn't realise. But yeah, you can take that out as well. Now, that's all I'm going to do. i got a big bunch of cloths, so I'm just going to wipe it over. That was really easy, there wasn't much to that at all. There's a little bit of something in there. Um, And there we go. That was nice and easy to clean. I do like that a lot. A lot of people don't like it. I really do. So that was easy to clean up because there wasn't much to it. And I hadn't used it an awful lot. But I have used it. I'll tell you what I use that for a lot is when I'm doing in, in the living room underneath the sofas. Um... You know, get your dust accumulating or dust bunnies accumulate underneath the, the sofas, under the hard floors. Um, and that's what I use it for, and it's brilliant. Next, let's take a look at the wand. A little bit of dust around there and that end, but nothing major. Just going to briefly damp cloth. Give the pole a good rubbing. Make sure there's no dust in the contacts. There we go, there's that. That didn't take long to do. This floor head, on the other hand, gets used all the time. Let's take a look at the bristles. So, uh, unlock. All oh, right, okay. So that is pretty manky. Let's 
us there. Now, there is a little bit of accumulation of grime in there, which is completely understandable. The bristles on it, I guess they could do with um, with new bristles. They the soft these soft ones, but they haven't worn down to nubbings. I wouldn't say that they're amazingly long, but they're not. Um, the red one is a bit a bit short, but um, they they haven't worn down to anything. And this gets used all the time. The same head. Let's give it a bit of a dust out. There's dust inside there. Quite an accumulation, actually. Okay, so I don't want to be going around giving it a um, full-on dismantling cleanup. I just want to do a quick end user cleanup uh end user would do this hmm, maybe maybe not Ugh. i am so i've tried to be as fair as i can with this to use it like a, anybody would but not mistreat it you know what i mean but then not to take super care of it and hardly use it it's been used all the time let's give this brush a bit of a wipe Get rid of any grime. Might treat it to some new rollers. New brushes. This is why I always recommend that um, if you have any type of vacuum, always have a, always invest in a Henry. A pneumatic vacuum because they do come in really handy for cleaning anything so there we've got a bearing that seems in good condition but I am going to put just a tad of grease on it there we go now, when it comes to cleaning this, this is awkward because I can't get big access to everything to clean it up properly. It's a shame they don't make this easier to take apart so you can clean it properly. But I'm not going to be taking, I'm not going to be dismantling it. So I'm just going to go as, guest, as best as I can. I'm going to give it a bit of a, well, a performance review clean because he does this. He just sprays it in and cleans it. So I'm going to do a bit of a performance review on it, clean on it. Hopefully that will help. No, it's not too bad. It's not too shabby.
I can't remember how long these were, but there's not much left of them. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay. And there we go. That is now polished and cleaned up. I'm just going to clean up these electrical terminals. Voila, that looks very presentable. Okay, so now we come to the main part of the machine. I'm going to vacuum out this, but it doesn't look like it needs clear washing, but I'm going to give it a good vac. Now, the good thing about this, if I'm not mistaken, is that there are no... The one with the, the other Dysons, the other handheld Dysons, the V8 and V7 or whatever, they had electrical wires running through them, whereas this one doesn't. So you can really properly wash it. Again, I'm not going to be... I mean, it's it's got dust, but... It's not that bad. I do wish they would, um, so that you'd be able to swap the batteries over, which I think the the new ones do. The, the outsize, I believe, you can. This mesh, sometimes it'll have something stuck to it, but, you know, a couple of ch -ch 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 up and down and it's and it's done. It's dusty, but it's not in a bad condition. giving it a big help. Considering how much I use it, it's not in bad condition. There is the dust inside, but you get that with Dysons. So I don't have a, 
people are under this estimation that I hate Dysons, but they do appear to be the best of the bagless. I know, don't faint. They are expensive. The only thing I don't like and I detest is the hype that a lot of people do on these and think that they are the best thing since sliced bread and they'll replace this and they'll replace that. Well, okay, carry on. You believe that. Whatever. They are good, but they are, at the end of the day, stick backs. And in my opinion, not a replacement for a powerful, good, corded vacuum, whether that be pneumatic, Siebel, or Miele. Bagged. I hate bagless machines. Right. That looks really good. So I'm going to put the air freshener back into it because I only changed it a week or two ago. Right, let's vacuum up my mess. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this inside and I'm going to wash it inside the sink because I really want this to be cleaned. It has gone cloudy. I'm not going to be polishing it or anything like that. I'm just going to wash it. So I'll be back in a sec once I've done that. Okay, so that's come up lovely, lovely and clean. So... <gasps> I can't remember. Um, hang on. That's it. Okay. Now I had this issue before with it sticking. Why is it doing that again? it did stop ow that hurt probably because I've cleaned it hmm I've had this issue before, like I just said, and then it stopped. Oh well, I'll see how it goes. It did, it was doing that for a little while and then it stopped. Okay, so anyway, we have got it clean. It looks much better. I think we should give it a little demo. Mm -hmm. Halfway. really clamps down good hard uh, good on this but that's because it's rubber back it really clamps down well let's use this one now
That is so nice. No scattering, no nothing. It's brilliant. Why is this going stiff again? See, it does that snow plowing thing. And drag behind it. Whereas if I open it, put it all in a big lump like that, Use this one. Straight in. No problem at all. This is really underestimated. I really love it for hard floors. It's brilliant for picking up stuff like um, flour and, and dust, for example, on the bathroom floors. It's just brilliant, I like it. And you don't need to have it on full power. There's some dust left over here. Done and dusted, so there we go. That is my Dyson V10 Animal. Lovely and clean now. Let's see, oops. If it can go another 18 months without any issues. There we go. So there we go, I'm gonna end the video there, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed. Just a quick look back at the Dyson V10 animal that I use every day. Give it a bit of a clean up, a bit of a tidy up, and it's really good. I'm gonna empty this. This seems to be okay now. No problems. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I'm gonna end the video, get rid of this using my Henry. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.